morning everyone welcome back to another video back on the garden house cowboy build job got the tea already good news is we should be getting our drawings today for this mess drawings should be coming to me today the updated building regs drawings um, so we'll be able to get back onto this job to this job hopefully very soon we're itching to get it underway anyway me and the young lads have been out picking up kitchens this morning in the van while wow. namdi and kenneth have been plastering how we doing boys how we doing oh look at that beautiful so you lot done then <laughs> i really don't need to be here i'm going on a holiday next weekend to be honest letting you guys know that now so you guys don't need me no more so everyone's a plasterer now on the team now yeah i hope so so we're ready to plaster that big house out there three-story house the whole house everything is patience this is the boys this is the boys skimming looking very good all right so that took the bag, yeah? That was the bag, yeah? Two, yeah. That bag did the two coats. Nice. All right. The guys are finished. The wall is looking good. So it is now 11.30. Guys have knocked this wall out. Yeah, everyone's pastoring is really improving. So very happy with that. So Namdi and Kent will be painting this room probably next week when it's all dry or maybe the end of the week. We shall see. Well, we are good to go. Yeah. Hmm? Right there. Just, just right, just right. Yeah. Mm-mm, that's on a pin. Just paint it in it. Yeah. yeah, that making sense. You know that. You don't tile the kitchen like that anymore, you know. Whole, whole kitchen tile, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's paint there nicely, man, you know.
Alright guys, so this is the end of the day. So this is where we got to. Kitchen unit started going in. We literally just copied this light for light kitchen. We've just we've just taken the uh, the old units out, exact sizes in the same place, drawers here, thousand base unit here for the sink and the plumbing here. Um, yeah, literally that's it. I mean, everything is not all fully screwed together. I'm gonna do a little cutting and adjusting and stuff, but this is it. It's a basic, straightforward kitchen. It's a rental property. Um, so we've got a new extract to go in, exactly the same place. You can see where the old cabinets were. This one's gonna go back there. There will go one here, there will be another one here. And there's a corner unit as well to go in. Um, that's it, so we sorted out this wall here. As you guys can see, we have to do some bonding and some skimming here. Uh, then we can get some skirting board and all that and then this room can get painted yeah and then in here we did some work here as you guys can see we just didn't get to do the skim underneath the last little bit of skim on the bottom but we did the top part you see that's drying out now and we also sorted this wall out because all this wall the plaster started coming off we had to hack it off so we did some bonding here and we just blended that in as you guys can see so the boys will do their magic on this wall and paint it all up and it should look good as new. Everything done. Oh, that's slippy. Finish the rest of that wall, flatten it all out. This is, this is a coat number one, you guys can see. Yeah. All right, it's time to do the second coat. When you're ready, guys, go for it. Yeah, man, let's go. Number second coat, we just apply the full coat like you did before. Oh, you did the whole thing, I was gonna say, just do that bit. Well, go for it. You're gonna do the whole wall, Ken. Hmm? You're gonna do the whole wall next time, stop by your left, yeah? yeah. And make your way across. Second coat, you want to spread out a bit more, yeah? You see? So you see, that's it. And if it's too soft, don't play with it too much. Carry on and come back to it.
Ne diyorsun Gönül? Boys and Girls'ı. Boys and Girls. Come down was when you get to the point. Come down. Straight across. Alright. I eat that. Oh yeah. Just to get the edge. Move to your next half now. And if it's too soft and if any too much line, so apply it and leave it. Move on and leave it. Come back to it when it gets a little firmer. Otherwise you're just gonna keep going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Trying to get the lines out. What's important is getting the coat on to the wall. Ken, let me give it a little tip. A little tip. When you go in, I know I'm just letting you guys do whatever, but. No, tell me, tell me. You know, I'll come back to you, don't worry. Each of you have to have your own little lessons, yeah? Depending on what you're doing. Right. right. So, what you want to do is try and keep going one direction. And go up, across, left, right, up, down. You keep it one way. So first apply, you go up and down. Later, you come sideways. Yeah? So when you're going on, <clears throat> like you're going up, you got a nice pull up. Yeah? When you get up, pull back down. Yeah? So you're going to try and practice. You're going to practice pulling up, see so you got the angle. When you get up there, and switch it the other way. And come down. Yeah? Well, up and down. And that's how you're pressing you it in. Really so same thing here. Then you'll get more less lines. Go up and pull down. Yeah? Yeah? By the time you finish that, this will be a little bit more firmer. So what it will be by that time, you can go sideways and then it will start taking out a lot of lines from you. Okay, like that. So then when you when you come back now you can start going sideways. Yeah? yeah? So you take out a lot of the lines. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. You're going across the line now, taking out this way. Easily. Like that one. And, and you can literally way. just go all the way across the wall. And say, yeah. Yeah? You see how a lot of lines come out already? Yeah. yeah. Even though it's soft, you can get a lot of lines out. So you go in the corner like that. And pull it. And what you do in the corners up there, what you do is, don't take any. When you're, doing, when you're doing your walls and you're going up and down, you always have a little bit on the trowel. So when you pull down, you always have a little bit. Use that. You don't need to put any on the trowel, just use what's on the trowel, because there's already a little bit on it. And use it. And you keep pulling and you're adding to it. Well, if you see you get to a point where you've got too much, you can take some off. All right? And then use this on the trowel and use that to pull down and use that to pull your corners. Yeah? Just use what's already on the trowel. Push it I'm just using what's on the trowel. As I'm picking up, I got a little bit on there. Just keep using it back somewhere else. And then say on the bottom, keep your lines clean. See all the big thick bits? Flatten it up. Before it goes dry on you. Flatten it up. Flatten it up. Flatten the lumps up. 
Because then seal is long, so you have to now chip them off when you can put your skirting board. Yeah. They're going to be in your way, so you want to get them flat. All right. While you're doing it, let's get rid of them. Get rid of them. Yeah. So again, you go in, up and down, up and down, and that will give you nice and flat. Yeah. Up and down. Up and down. When you finish, then you go. You can go sideways. There you go. Yes, Trizzy Trey. <laughs> Trizzy Trey. Trizzy Trey. That's the first I've ever heard someone call me that day. Huh? Well, I called you that the other day. I gave you that name. I told you. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're looking better now, Tristan. You're looking much better. Better. You see your second old coda is getting better? Yeah, no. But don't play with it too much. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. <laughs> if you apply, stop. Okay. And you say, okay, I'll apply. Well, you for a little while. You for a little while. And then give five minutes. And pass the troll on it again. You'll see if it's too stuff still or if it's getting the lines out. Or if you need to add patching a few bits, <laughs> you know, you do that. Like here, let me show. give me that second. Give me a minute. Yeah, I'll there, so. there, because you're gonna mess up the architrave in the middle there. Oh, so, let's bring it all the way. The architrave is gonna cover all the way to the wall here, so we don't need to really put anything there. But just. Cover up the big gaps in the, in the corner. When you were doing that then, when you was uh, shaking a little bit, is that to flatten it? What do you mean? Just now, I was just trying to push it into the, push the mortar into the corner, in the yeah. top corner. Yeah. We're trying to squeeze it in there, you know? couple of times yeah. clean that off on the brush Bend the rules. 